Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for having me here. My name is Wen Ying from China. I work in PIC, Postdan Institute for Climate Impact Research. Today, I'd like to share my research work with all of you. And my talk is about distributed event-triggered cooperative control of multi-aging systems. Why should we start the multi-aging systems? Because multi-aging systems are or are going to be everywhere. In biology, they can explain some interesting phenomena. For example, the swarming of the fish, the synchronized lighting of fireflies, or the flocking of the birds. In addition, the opinion dynamics in social networks can be modeled and analyzed by multi-aging systems. The other reason for studying the multi-aging systems is that they can solve problems that are difficult or impossible for an individual agent to solve. For example, they can study the cooperative behaviors in engineering, like self-driving, Amazon logistics, and the UAV, human aerial vehicles. Then one may ask, what is a multi-aging system? Generally, a multi-aging system includes multiple agents, which are connected by links. Each agent is able to share information with the neighboring agents via links. Such a local interaction among agents could give rise to different collective behaviors. For example, consensus formation, decision making, or parallel computing. How can these agents achieve some specific connective behaviors in a network? There are two key factors. The first one is the distributed control protocol. A good protocol can make agents will adjust its own behavior for achieving the connective task. Know that designing such a good protocol is not easy because each agent has no size to any global information. Only local information is available. In this case, communication is important. And the second key factor is communication. An ideal situation is that the agents can get sufficient and timely information to construct an effective protocol. So, continuous time communication was firstly started. It's worth noting that such communication mode is based on the assumption that the communication bandwidth is unlimited or the networks are infinite. However, in practice, the communication constraint always exists. And the common constraint includes limited network resources, limited communication bandwidth. In some cases, the agents are battery powered and have limited lifetime. In these situations, we like to execute communication or control task as well as possible in order to minimize energy consumption. How to achieve it while guaranteeing the desired connective behavior? To solve it, the event trigger scheme was proposed. Before introducing the event trigger scheme, we first review traditional time trigger scheme for tasks, like continuous time schemes or periodic schemes. Under them, the tasks are carried out by a given time schedule. However, the event trigger schemes emphasize that the task is performed by need, instead of by a given schedule. So, it could be more flexible and smarter. As compared with time trigger scheme, even trigger one has several obvious advantages, such as mitigates the communication burden, saves the network resources, and prolongs the lifetime of the agents. Know that 
the need is always described and modeled by some specific event. Then, how to construct a proper event? In the setting of multi aging systems, I like to propose an event condition for each agent with local information. We call such a condition as distributed event triggered communication scheme. Here is a general form of typical event condition. Firstly, you find there is an error function to measure the change of the agent state. In addition, we need a threshold for the change, which could be constant or time varying function. Know that only local information can be used in this condition, so it is distributed. Here, FI and data I are designed according to our need. They are different in different systems or for different connective behaviors. This is a design for communication. Next, we discuss how to develop a control protocol based on the event trigger communication. Here is a general form of distributed event trigger control protocol. You can find the only local information is used in this protocol. And this is not the current information of the labels. Instead, this is the information at triggered instance. Here is a special case of a protocol for consensus, like this. The function GI has different forms in different systems or for different collective behaviors. The designed objective is to guarantee the connective behaviors. Now, I briefly introduce our recent research interests. You know, the increasing dependency of our life on information networks and computer networks. This provides a lot of chances for the attacker to launch various kinds of cyber attacks, which has a negative impact on individuals, business, and even nations. So certainly, cyber attacks have attracted a lot of research tensions. In the setting of distributed event trigger cooperative control, the cyber attacks could lead to that information is lost or falsified. As a result, the control protocol fails to update or updates with false data. In this case, we have two questions to solve. One is, how to determine the next triggering instant under attack? The other one is, how to update the control protocol under attack? If you are interested in these questions, please feel free to contact me by email. This is all of my talk. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention.